So in this video, I'll provide a numerical example of using the washer method. So suppose we have these two functions, f of x, which is this upside down parabola, and g of x, technically it's a hyperbola. They, they intersect at 2 comma 4 and 5 comma 1, and they isolate this area. So we're going to rotate that area around the x-axis, and we'd like the volume. So as we discussed in the last video, this is the general formula for the washer method, where capital R of x is the outer radius and little r of x is the inner radius. Well, how do we figure out which function is which? Well, think about the geometry of the diagram, the actual way things are laid out. If we start from the radius, if we go to the outside of this, we go all the way up to f of x. So f of x must be the outer radius. And similarly, the one that is closer, closer to the axis of rotation is g of x, so that has to be the inner radius. So once we've determined that, we can just plug directly into our formula. v equals pi times the integral, x is going from 2 to 5 of f of x, so this would be negative x squared plus 6x minus 4, that thing squared minus 4 over 1 minus x, that thing squared, dx. So we'll want to expand all this out. The first function, of course, is a quadratic. When we square that, we will get a quartic. I'll just write the terms out. So I'll skip ahead of a little bit of algebra here. x to the fourth, 12x cubed plus 44x squared minus 4x plus 16. The other one is a little bit easier. The other one is just 16 over x minus 1 squared dx. Now, all of these first terms, we're just going to integrate those with the power rule, the ordinary power rule. That's easy. For this one, we're going to use a u substitution, but it's a very easy u substitution. Just u equals x minus 1, du equals dx. Very easy. So. The antiderivative of all this, of course, we get a pi out in front of everything, and we get x to the fifth over 5 minus 3x to the fourth plus 44x cubed over 3 minus 2x squared plus 16x. And then this one integrates to positive 16 over x plus 1, the power of negative 2 going up to negative 1. And then all that will be evaluated at 5 and 2. So I'll skip ahead to some of the arithmetic here. It turns out the answer we get is 198 pi over 5. That would be the volume that we find using the washer method.